Today's Madden 16 tip is going to be focusing on uh, a nice little trinket play out of the St. Louis Rams shotgun tight offset tight end. Uh, what's up guys, my name is Cody, uh, I want to welcome you guys back, I'm sorry for the absence lately, uh, but today we want to just talk to you about a tip here we have out of the Green Bay Packers, uh, we're using the Green Bay Packers but we're using the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook, now, this is a play I like to, to do uh, normally about the 20 yard line and in, so we'll move the ball up, but once you get about to this 15 yard, 20 yard line to about 10 yard line, somewhere in there really, uh, so we're just going to pick the 15 yard line to show you this. This is a play I really like to use uh, for these situations. Once the field starts to get a little more condensed, um, this is a, a, a little additional play out of the St. Louis Rams offensive book that I wrote. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. But anyway, what we're going to do here is a lot of guys like to run two men under. A lot of them like to do the man line press, and that's the best way to run it this year. And what they'll do with that is when they do that they'll get like right up in your face it makes it really really hard to get a free release it's just kind of a difficult defense to face and um, I like this play PA seams shot it's the play action audible and the shotgun tight offset tight end what you want to do here is you want to place your running back on a curl route and then you want to take your uh, your receiver here Jordy Nelson and you want to motion him to the outside and you're gonna snap it right before he sets so right here and then you're gonna high bullet pass lead it and you're gonna pass. You're gonna high pass it. So you're gonna hold L1, and then you're gonna it to the outside. So you're gonna hold your left analog stick at about nine o'clock, and that's exactly what we were looking for. What we got that round. Let me show you this again. But basically, you you got to kind of work with the, the snap. But you want to snap right as he's starting to kind of turn around, and you see you're gonna get that nice one on one. Now sometimes they'll knock it away, as you saw right there. Sometimes you'll get wide open. Uh, sometimes you will uh, trigger an aggressive catch and the aggressive catch feature will kick in and you only want to do this uh, real quick disclaimer you only want to do this if you have a really good receiver out there so uh, like Jordy Nelson I use him I use the uh, I think it's the Mutt Superlatives Jordy Nelson uh, with like 98 or 99 route running that's what I like to use uh, route running is kind of the key stat here but there you see it and that's that's what you're you're gonna get that a lot of the time I've never thrown an interception on this play uh, so just know that going in, you probably won't throw an interception, and it's actually really good against like cover two. So a lot of teams like to go to cover two in this situation, uh, especially against this offense. If you guys have watched any of my content, you'll know that a lot of players will find that playing cover two is the best way to attack my my offense here. But you see, we'll get him out there, and it's really really good against cover two, as you can see. Um, and so this is a play I like to use against two high safeties normally. Uh, so you'll see cover two or two men under more than likely most of the time when you're facing those two high safeties. Um, and, and so what we're able to do here is we're just motioning, like I said, just motion Jordy Nelson out. High ball pass it, and you see you're going to get it in a nice, only your receiver can catch this pass, and that's that's what we really like about it. I want to show you one other thing before we uh, let you guys go for today, and that is this play against cover three. Uh, and then I want to actually want to show you two more things. So against cover three here, we're going to motion Jordy Nelson out, and you're going to see here that you're actually going to get a pretty about the same kind of thing. It's that one-on-one -on -one kind of rocket animation. You see that the corner can't intercept the ball, um, and that's the key because for the corner to intercept the pass, um, he's got to be on the outside, but he's not. He's on the inside, and so we got that outside positioning. I talk about it all the time that route running and offense and passing is a lot about positioning more so than anything else and there you see it again um, and they don't even react to the ball so, so this is just something that I'm using uh, in the red zone I'm actually using it you can actually use it outside of the red zone as well uh, if you want to kind of have like some shot plays or something like that this is a really good one to go to but as you can see I'm, by the way, I'm not clicking on the computer does really work I just throw the ball uh, and so that's a, that's a nice feature of this as well I want to show you one other thing if you're kind of nervous about you know maybe your opponent maybe your uh, maybe your guy uh, the guy that you're playing user controls it and you don't want to throw it a user for whatever reason this is why we put James Starks on this curl route um, and, and we're going to use a tip uh, that we saw Skimbo use in the Madden Challenge uh, and so once we see that we don't want to throw this ball to Nelson so we see he's covered, we're going to step up in the pocket, hold left trigger and we're going to, well we, sorry we, sorry about that, we we didn't get the, we didn't get the right thing happen there. Sometimes it is a little finicky 
because of this rata square. If this rata square gets pressed, um, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a little finicky, but it still will work just fine. But anyway, so your rata now is not is covered, so you're gonna hold left trigger, and you're gonna put stars on that crossing route, and you see that he's gonna be able to be a really good playmaker option for you. And so let me let me clarify: we're holding left trigger that triggers the playmaker. We're not holding L1 anymore. We 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 stop holding L1 once we don't want to throw it in Nelson. We don't want to throw it in Nelson. Okay, we're holding left trigger. He steps up, and we get him on that crossing route, and you see that we can get some damage. And then uh, one other thing I did want to talk about is pressure releases. Uh, so in this, so the so really the only thing that they have to possibly do to you, because um, really most pressure releases you're going to throw the ball to Jordy Nelson. So the only other pressure release option they have is to man bump. Um, so maybe to do something like this to go two man under. I mean, and this would take a lot for them to do. And so they're going to, you know, say they're going to do something like this. And I don't know something something like this. They're going to bring pressure, and you have to get rid of the ball quick. Well, you know, my personal recommendation would be to just throw the ball to Nelson. But we'll show you. You can also throw the ball to Randall Cobb on a little quick out once he breaks, and you see that it still beats man even though he gets pressed. Uh, so anyway, so that's something you can check out if you want. But again, you you don't normally need that. Um, I've never thrown that. I've never had to throw that. Normally for me, it's always either Nelson or uh, James Sparks. And we do a pretty good job of getting pretty consistent results with this. Um, two men under is probably the only thing that really stands a chance uh, against this play because you can sometimes get the catch tackle that you just saw. But more times than not, and again, you want to practice your pass leads. Sometimes you'll get overthrows, but again, it's better to throw the ball out of bounds than to get intercepted. Uh, but anyway, you know, this is just something you can mix in. Uh, like I said, it, you, you do need a good quarterback, too. Uh, you want to have someone that has good accuracy. That's why I'm using the Packers, because we have Jordy Nelson and Aaron Rodgers, two of the tops of their positions. But, yeah. So, anyway, let's try this out. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, uh, real quick before we go, I wanted to talk a little bit about the subscriber game. So I'm, I'm really trying to get those started. I've had a ton of finals and things, so I haven't been able to play as much Madden as I would like to. But uh, if you guys are interested in the subscriber games, uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be having a video that gives you more information about how to get involved with that. Uh, i got a couple people already lined up that I want to play, and, uh, and we'll talk to you a little bit more about that tomorrow. So I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. And, uh, and let me know what you guys think of this play.